Alright, so today is my day two of um, my 12 day tag for reasons why I'm grateful for um, for making it through the year and reflecting. My first um, my first one is I, before I even start, I got a, a new friend on YouTube, friend request, and I accepted it. It's from um, Evans and Guilford's channel. I put it down in my favorites. Now, what this made me think when I um, looked at this lady's um, journey, um, she's a lap bander. And she's only been banded for a month and obviously everybody knows how I feel about the band and um, I thought she was very brave actually <laughs> to have sent the friend request very very brave um, but it did get me thinking a lot as well um, I know how adamant I am and I know I've done everything I can and I know how annoyed I feel when I hear people you know doing nothing except be overly positive I suppose about the real truth that comes with the ban because when I got my surgery you know it made it sound really easy fill in fill out get that spot you're okay blah blah what I failed to take into account um, was that there are some newbies on here you know she's just starting her journey she's been banded for a month and it's gonna be a beautiful thing and I know it's gonna be a beautiful thing because that's what happened with me initially when I started okay fair enough I didn't get my feel until about um, I got I got banded in January, oh nine, oh nine, yeah, I think it was oh nine, and I only got my first fill in November, November. So, and then obviously subsequently I had fills and fills after that. Um, but what happened was it made me reflect i'm always reflecting on self and it made me reflect how how she must feel listening to someone who maybe the band hasn't worked for now other people who have come on here have already had the revision surgery i haven't as yet so i'm still banded um, but it did make me think a lot about her hopes, her choices, her dreams, where she really wants to go with this. And it made me realize that maybe as passionate as I am about my own plight, I should maybe try and be a bit more considerate to some of the new ones who are on whose journey who are on here whose journey starting now the thing is you know I haven't um, she hasn't spoken to me I haven't spoken to her I don't know her this self-reflection came just from watching her latest her one video that she did and she's a very pretty woman um, so you know like I said I'm always reflecting on self and when I saw that she'd only been banded a month, which was brave enough to <laughs> the friend request, um, it made me check myself. And so I think from now on, I think, I know from now on, um, I'm not going to say I'm going to watch my words because I'm not a child to do that. I can do as I please. But I am going to take into consideration other people's feelings who maybe might be watching and starting because 
there was a time when I was on here and there was no one that, that I could relate to. So, you know, um, yeah. And I've had people who've changed me from listening to them. A Marilis from listening to her has made me realize that that's why I started subscribing to some people who are actually, you know, banded. Some of the people I've subscribed to are actually people who have the lap band because it's their journey I appreciate and how they are and their demeanor um, and that it's working for them. I'm not a hater. Anyway, so that's that. Secondly, um, why I'm grateful today. I'm grateful because I can walk. Uh, when I was pregnant during February this year, I only had my son in June. Um, I started getting pelvic girdle. And it doesn't sound very serious, but it actually is. And mine became, as time went on, severe, and I, I was bed bound. And it started in February, and it was aching and paining. And I was like, no, I can do this, I'm doing this, you know, and it's okay. And at that time, I was still working out while I was pregnant, you know, because I didn't want to get fat. And I was scared of the weight after. And I always wondered was that maybe what sparked it? I don't know. But I had really severe SPD and I had to be hospitalized sometimes and it was a very difficult pregnancy and it got to the point where I wasn't able to walk. I was unable to walk. I couldn't lift my legs, I couldn't get out of bed. It was a nightmare. It was a nightmare. My feet, so, so. Oh, the pain. I was in constant, excruciating pain. My pelvic bones were hurting. I was unable to move. I couldn't even turn in the bed. You know, never mind walk or turn on the bed. I couldn't even turn. So, that was a very difficult time. And I'm grateful that now, it's been five months. And... In my third month, things really did start improving a lot as far as my mobility goes. Um, so I'm very happy about that. Very blessed about, you know, very blessed as well. Um, another thing I'm grateful for this year is my education. Um, I took a couple of brave steps this year. Um, and they are starting to pay off <laughs> as far as um, my education goes. I am a law student and um, I got accepted onto a training program for a lay magistrate. Yay! <laughs> so I'm going to be judging people. <laughs> I'm kidding. But yeah, um, and my ambition I'm very ambitious with um, regards to where I'm going to end up uh, on that program and what it's going to the doors it's going to open for me but um, the selection is extremely dense it is really hard and um, I apply thinking I don't have a snowball's chance in hell but it, it worked out so that was very nice I'm very happy I'm very happy that um, the decisions I've made um, regarding my my legal career is starting to pay off um, that happened and also um, I got asked I didn't I got asked it was a bit weird what happened but anyway I'm, I'm on the paralegals um, I'm uh, assigned to the paralegal institute as well so that was very nice um, so yeah um, very very happy with regards to the path that my career and studies are taking and um, just feeling very blessed again for my family my husband made a montage for me um, go open the door for daddy quickly hurry up Levi um, 
made a montage. These are my favorites for our family. So, very happy with, with regards to that. And, and, um, so yeah. Yeah, my boo boo song. So, I'm gonna go and have a blessed day. So, I just want to say what I'm grateful for to recap is for the fact that I'm able to walk and mobile and um, the fact that in my career there was a time when I didn't come out of school with the best grades and education almost seemed so far away and now things are different I have I went from having nothing in order to having absolutely everything in order. So I've got a year left and um then I qualify. Mm. But um my training program is only about six weeks and then I go and I sit. I sit on my first seat. <laughs> um my aim is to hopefully by mid, I think it's a bit too ambitious. Ambitious though, but I was gonna say by June next year to be um, sitting on my own. But um, maybe they'll make me sit for a year with two other magistrates before I'm able to sit on my own. And um, I would have loved to go into criminal court, but um, that's just what I would love to do. But I think family court needs more magistrates like myself so anywho um good luck to everyone who's on this journey is quite a few post ops i've seen and a couple of pre-ops that i'm watching and um yeah that's about it really <laughs> oh that guy just did on camera <laughs> Alright, let me go up here. <laughs> oh my god. Have a nice day. <laughs>